Hello, I'm Executive Chef Joseph Schutzler, and welcome to our kitchen. Today I'd like to share with you one of my many recipes for a stuffed leg of lamb. This particular leg is coming from animal number 2167, raised locally here in Wisconsin by my friend Cody at Mapleton Mine Shopshire. Cody at one time used to raise sheep for Nyman Ranch back in California. So you know this is going to be a good, clean, sustainable lamb. So today we were going to stuff ours with leek, kale, dried cherries, and then roast it. So join me now as I show you how I prepare this. Well, here we have our leg uh, from 2167. I have to apologize in advance. I had already started breaking down some of the cuts off of it and some of the bones uh, and already began to st uh, stock. So there was still part of the ribs were still uh, attached to it. And here we have, and the one part of the leg when we sawed it off. Now we're looking more up into the shoulder part of it, the upper part of the uh, leg. So as we do deboning other, like chicken and things as such I've done in the past, what we want to do is locate the bone and then just take the tip of your knife and just make some gentle cuts and gently pull back the flesh. Now that we have our leg deboned. I would like to make some, like a small cuts this way, just to kind of butterfly it open a bit. Because the thinner or flatter I can make it, I feel that I have a better control whenever I'm going to uh, tie it up and stuff it. So there are some fatty sections here that we would have to remove a little bit. Uh, so I'm going to peel this back here, leave a little lip, and then again with the tip of the knife, cut some of this fat out of there. Well, now that we have it cleaned uh, and deboned, let us go ahead and work on the, the stuffing. have my leg of lamb butterflied open and with the skin side or the exterior facing down I seasoned the interior with rosemary and season, uh, kosher salt so now I like to take my filling and just in a even layer cover the whole top face of the leg also, I like to use kale because kale holds up a lot better than, say, spinach does, especially when you cook it. Spinach is a very delicate leaf and, you know, pretty much turns brown and dies very quickly, where kale seems to hold up much better. Also, why I am putting it in raw as opposed to pre-cooking it. Now that we have it stuffed and rolled, let's go ahead and tie our knot for our butcher's twine, uh, like a noose knot. So let's go ahead and widen that. Edge your way under and go ahead and pull it tight. Just pull it snug, don't go too tight. If you go too tight, you're gonna force the filling out. 
Take your hand over the other, make your other loop, slide it down from the front, and go ahead and pull up. And there you have your uh, loop secured. And continue the process until you go all the way through the whole length of the leg of land. I want to try to avoid any of it from falling out. Now once you get all the way to the end here, let's go ahead and flip this. Then what I do is I'll cut some off and I will take this end and kind of come up this way. Then what I do is I loop it underneath one of the cross strands every other one or so, and that helps keep it all in line. Let me do under this one last one here because it's the very last one there. And that helps keep it tight. Flip it again. And let us go ahead and tie it off with that little piece that's left over. Move the excess. And there you have it. Now we'll clean it up a little bit in the event that any pieces fell out, we'll stick inside. And then if uh, there's an opening, we can kind of tuck the meats back in. Anything to help us to secure it and ensure that the item stays in. Well, here we are with it completely trussed. Let's go ahead and season it. Some kosher salt. And then a little rosemary. The rosemary is left over from our garden in the summer. Uh, what's left over at the end of the year, we end up drying it. Comes in handy in the winter. Here we are. Now I transfer it to a roasting pan and I actually lined with parchment paper just to help make my cleanup a little, little easier. And we'll now send this to the oven, 425 degrees for about 45 minutes. Well, here we are, roasted, and I allow it to rest for about 10 to 15 minutes, and I remove the butcher's twine, and we're now ready for carving. So, when slicing it, I like to slice maybe half to three quarters of an inch thick, because that helps give you, you know, a little stability with the piece, rather than it falling apart. And here's what we look like inside. Nice little medium going on here. And see how green the kale stayed? Where if that were spinach, the spinach just would have turned, you know, to mush. And there we have. Voila. Now feel free to cook it to any temperature you like. If you want it well done, then by all means, cook it longer. But this was cooked at 450 degrees Fahrenheit for 45 minutes. And this is where we're at. We got the nice crackling on the exterior from the skin and we got beautiful juicy interior. That's exactly what we're looking for. Well, there you have my stuffed leg of lamb. Thank you 2167 for your sacrifice. <laughs> um, Again, the very easy recipe, um, all about the technique. I prefer mine medium rare to medium, but as I mentioned before, feel free to cook it to any internal temperature that you like. And also feel, get, get creative with the fillings as well. Uh, you could use spinach in this, uh, feta cheese, maybe some lemon zest in with that. Um, you could stuff it with, you know, sausage, uh, bacon even, whatever, uh, mushrooms. It, anything it, it is really up to you so uh well thank you very much for joining us i hope that you uh enjoyed this presentation i hope inspired you to uh, roast your own leg of lamb obviously you can purchase uh boneless semi-boneless or bone-in legs uh i happen to purchase the whole uh, bovine so uh the bones come with it 
And if you noticed in the video, I had a pressure cooker going and that was actually using some of the bones that I generated from this to make stock. So thanks again for joining us. If you've not already done so, please smash that subscribe button, get on board with us. We'd love to have you. Thanks again. You it by it.